of Emmett Till speaking out after the Justice Department declined to file any new charges in the case officially closing it for good. Till was a black 14 year old boy from Chicago lynched in Mississippi back in 1955 for allegedly whistling at a white woman. WGN's Brona Tumulty is joining us now with details, more details from downtown Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, the Justice Department ending its investigation today, saying there was insufficient evidence to prove that the white woman involved in all of this had recanted her story in a 2017 book. Relatives of Emma Till speaking out today about the decision said they were disappointed, but not surprised. Today is a day that we'll never forget. Officially, the Emma Till case has been closed after 66 years. Reverend Wheeler Parker, cousin of Emmett Till, speaking out today at the Medill School of Journalism after learning federal authorities closed their latest investigation without any new charges. We're disappointed that no one has paid for the tragic, brutal murder of a 14-year-old boy for whistling at a white woman. Till was a black teenager from Chicago who was abducted, tortured and lynched in 1955 after he was accused of grabbing, whistling at and making sexual advances toward a white woman in Mississippi named Carolyn Bryant Dolman. The Justice Department reopened the case following the 2017 release of a book which quoted Dunham saying she lied about what happened. The people who did the investigation found no credible evidence on on any of the parts of this this case. Uh, there was every opportunity for uh, the writer to produce that evidence and the stories uh, according to the FBI uh, were changing um, constantly. Reverend Parker was there the night Till was dragged away. I suffered tremendously because of the way that they painted him back in the day that they kidnapped and killed him. I was 16 years old and I Days after the 14-year-old was killed, his body was found weighted down in the Tallahatchie River. His death further fueled the civil rights movement after Till's mother insisted on an open casket. Parker reflected on words today from Mamie Till Mobley, who says she asked him to carry on her son's legacy. And that's what we've been doing. Uh, we don't. She didn't ha share in the hate, and uh, she said what I've been saying. And you know, she was saying it like that: "You can't afford to hate." Hate destroys the hater. So she took a lemon and she made lemonade. Several family members also reiterating today they have no hate in their hearts in spite of this outcome and will continue to keep Till's memory alive. Our goal is to continue to promote the legacy of Emmett Till and Mamie Till Mobley through positive activism, promoting cultural awareness and education. Two men, Roy Bryant, who was at the time married to Carolyn, and his half-brother, J.W. Millam, were tried in Mississippi back in the 50s and acquitted of murder by an all-white jury. Months after that, during a magazine interview, the pair confessed to killing the 14-year-old. We're live downtown tonight. Brona Tumulty, WGN News. All right.